of rebellion within her ranks. So I'm her two minutes early. 7.29. that is time. Let's find out what's happening traffic-wise around the country now. We'll go to Laura Antoniazzi from the Australian Traffic Network. Hello, Laura. Good morning. In Brisbane, an accident in Green Slope inbound on the Pacific Motorway at Juliet Street. Oh, we ain't in Brisbane no more. Flashing yellow in winter. Welcome to Melbourne. We are on time. It's 7.30. Let's roll up now. We don't want to be a minute late. It's time to get serious. I'm not going to goose around. These are going to be serious videos. Serious tool reviews, serious pros, and I'm gonna learn something, and hopefully, you're gonna learn something too. We are here in Victoria with Gary Holt, and we're getting straight into it. G'day, how are you going, boys and people? Just cutting up some blocks to put down on the floor underneath the internals. Not a necessity, but I like to clean. So, so he, just, he just blows out the corner and then drops a block down. That's my favorite base. That base coat 60. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. So creamy. I know some guys that uh, use the long set canal and they, they swear by it. I've never tried it. So. Yeah. Might to try it one day. Oh, you got a lot of Makita batteries. Oh, yeah. Makita rules. <laughs> <laughs> Have you used the uh, the new Makita drywall cutter, the little jigsaw type thing? Yeah, yeah, I've got one of those, yes. Crimp one of the connectors, so oh, ceiling really? flooded. So I had to take the ceiling down in the kitchen, big yeah. kitchen area. So one man, instead of trying to pull the hole up down and make a big mess, I just put the sheet lifter up there, cut around uh, the sheet lifter. Yeah, with the, uh, trace, trace the, it out. Yeah, yeah, and then just wound it down and carted it out piece by piece. Yeah. That's a good idea. It worked. It worked, yeah. How long have you been doing this? Plastering? Yeah. Since 1981. So, um, what's the math on that? Too long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the math. It's too early and I didn't yeah, sleep. It's too early. <laughs> Anything you want me to bring in, mate? No, nah, no, nah, you're good. This is a spot. 
There she is. All hail the king. Yeah, definitely. I would like to learn personally. A lot of a lot of guys think that there's too much going on and they're unreliable. Uh, in five years, of that bazooka will have replaced his blades. That's it. Really? Yeah, nothing else. Yeah. Yeah, because any, anyone that says a bazooka is temperamental and unreliable, um, really. Needs. Talking about, they've probably never used one. Yeah. Only just uh, looked at one and gone, no, that looks scary. Yeah. So I've heard too many moving parts and that sort of thing. Yeah, no, stay no, away no, from. No, no issue, no issue. They're all, all the moving parts are either stainless steel or aluminium, so that's not an issue. Um, probably the easiest way, or at least give you a breakdown, because the Tape Pro does something that no other bazooka does. Well, I should call the automatic taper really, because the bazooka is probably a tape tech idea. So you can disconnect the cutter chain through there, undo your cruiser wheel, undo that, and then the whole head pops off. Clean it. So you can clean everything right down the tube, through the mud gate, everything. Plus the, a lot of them come up with the uh, grenade pin now, the cover come off, that's nothing new, but uh, Tape Pro they have full access, which is, which is awesome. So the mechanics of how it works is, as the wheel's running on the wall, pull that piston up, as you can see. So this tube's pumped full of mud, it pulls that piston, drags the mud up, brings it out through the uh, top here, feeds onto the tape, and uh, then we've got mud on the tape. So pretty simple really, but uh, there is a bit going on. But at least with the tape pro, it allows for uh, full access for cleaning. There's uh, plenty of others on the market, but yeah, it makes me wonder sometimes why no one else has uh, done the, the full head removal. How long have you had that? Five years? About five years, yeah, this one. Yeah. Uh, it would have paid for itself a few oh, times over. Yeah, many times over. I got this cheap off eBay. Someone else has got it, and I assumed that they got frustrated with it. You're not knowing what to do and how to run it. By the look of it, it had only done a week's work. Uh, yeah. I felt bad for a while. I thought I'd have stolen it. But I got over it. <laughs> so, lube, we always use uh, silicon lube. Any moving parts, like you can hear guys use WD-40, etc. That's fine, but for rubber seals, um, it can have a corrosive effect on the rubber seals. So. All moving parts get a good, good spray through the cutter gate.
put the bucket to CSR Easy Flow, about two litres of water you add to it. Sounds like a lot. When did the bazookas come out, you know? In Australia. Uh, I don't really know when they come out in Australia, but the original, the original bazooka was invented by the Ames brothers, uh, to my knowledge, back in the 40s. Um, they were a smart mob though. They were a, a rental only. And you couldn't buy one. Really? So, yeah, every, every guy who was using one was renting it. So the Ames brothers were getting, getting paid for every bazooka that was being used. Then the patent war uh, expired, and other, came, other uh, manufacturers came on board and started producing them, and yeah, the rest of it is history. So, most of the Tool manufacturer, probably all the tool manufacturers now that make automatic tools have got one. Columbia, um, Tape Tech, which is, was a branch of Ames, um, Drywall Master, Level 5, they're all, all gone. It's about nine pumps. Pump to the fill the tube. Roughly how many meters uh, would you tape in um, out of one filling? To be honest, I never really thought about it. Yeah. Well, Probably something we can pay attention to today.